Do you want to play Space Planets? Yeah? Okay, let's go. Here's the goal of the game. You'll explore outer space and travel to new planets, but always make sure that you have enough fuel crystals to reach your target. The person who has collected the most Explorer stars at the end wins the game. Here's how to set the game up. First, choose a spaceship card and place it down in front of you. Then, shuffle all the planet cards face down. After that, place nine planet cards face up in a 3x3 grid in the middle of the table. The distance between each card should be approximately the width of one die. Now, you receive four fuel crystals and place them on your spaceship card. Place the remaining crystals in an easily accessible stockpile. After that, you're done. Now let's play. Play goes in a clockwise direction. Are you the youngest player? Then you'll start. On your turn, you'll roll the die in the direction of the laid out planet cards and try to hit a valuable planet. The more explorer stars it has, the more valuable it is. Note, the hand that you use to roll the die cannot be above the planet cards. If the die stops on or is touching a planet card, then you've reached the planet. Now you have a choice. You can explore the planet or decline the opportunity. You might have to do this because you don't have enough fuel crystals. If this is the case, instead you can take a number of fuel crystals from the stockpile based on the number shown on the die. If you have enough fuel crystals, you can explore the planet. You pay the number of fuel crystals indicated on the die and then take this planet card. You'll fill in the empty spot with a new planet card from the draw pile. If you didn't hit a card at all with the die, then you're allowed to take one fuel crystal from the stockpile, and the next player will take their turn by rolling the die. This planet is very far away. In order to reach it, you'll generally need one more fuel crystal than is shown on the die. If your die lands on the black hole card, bad luck for you. Your turn is immediately over, and the next player will go. The black hole card is then taken from the game and replaced with a new planet card. Play continues with players either spending fuel crystals to collect planet cards or gaining fuel crystals. Some planet cards have additional special effects. These cards will remain face up in front of the player until the special effect has been played. Then, the card will be turned over and the effect will disappear. With this planet card, you immediately gain two fuel crystals and then turn the card face down. With this planet card, you gain one fuel crystal, and again, turn the card face down. With this planet card, you get to roll the die again. With this extra roll, you might collect another planet card. After you've used this ability, you turn the card over. This planet card increases fuel consumption. For one round, all other players must pay one extra fuel crystal than is shown on the die. When it's your turn again, the planet card is flipped over. This planet is an oasis in the universe. It's particularly valuable, but doesn't have any special effect. Here's how the game ends. The game is over when a player has collected five planet cards. Each of the other players now may roll the die one more time. All the players then count up all their explorer stars and planet cards. Anyone who has saved fuel crystals is rewarded. Two fuel crystals count as one explorer star. The player with the most Explorer Stars wins the game. Space Planets is a game for two to four players, ages six and up, and plays in about 15 minutes. Have fun!